All right, there are three things happening in this video. First one, the new Sony monitor and control app is very buggy and it keeps disconnecting and I won't be using it for a shoot tomorrow. I thought I was. Number two, Mark Bone and his DP friend are going to have a raw uncut session where they look at my reel and frankly rip it apart. So I got a lot of value out of this and I think you guys might too. If you are thinking of creating a reel and you're need some polishing or need some direction, this can really, really help. And then uh, number three, I'm giving away the AOD free module that I had in my raffle a couple videos ago. It's going to someone in my audience. Basically, I'm an affiliate for AOD, even though I'm a student. And they said, here's a free course for being an affiliate member. I said, can I give it away? They love the idea. So uh, some of you guys followed the instructions and it is gonna go to one of you. So without further ado, this is Mark Bone um, picking apart my reel and I'll be at the end of this saying the winner. First up is David Moorfield. Hey, AOD royalty, an OG of AOD, or at least very active in a group. I'm not sure when you joined AOD, uh, Dave, but you've been, been awesome. Beautiful hair, by the way, David. Beautiful, luscious hair. Um, all right, let's watch this. This is David's real. Any quick notes off the top, Nick? I see some good stuff here, right, right off the top. I, my personal preference is uh, the thumbnail of your reel. Either just have it say "real," like this looks more like a like a YouTube clickbaity thumbnail to me. Okay. Um, I would I would minimalize this and let the title of the actual video just be this and remove the text from the thumb. Okay. So just have like a really strong shot and just put like, yeah. don't even put text you're saying that's, that's I, your experience. I would say don't even put text. Oh, interesting. Text. Interesting. Okay. I, I don't mind the text, but, but coming from you have a higher standard of aesthetic than my, myself being a, a DP. So that's interesting. But the, the positive, I will say, David, to 20, 2023 takes two seconds to update your reel guys. Even if it's just footage from 2021, always make sure it has the current year. Otherwise it looks like you haven't been getting hired. David Moorfield, Director of Photography. Very simple, very effective. Without yeah. further ado, let's watch. There you go. Nick, I'll let you jump in. I have a couple of thoughts off the top. Um, sure. So but, yeah, what, what are great. they? The, yeah. I, I think this speaks largely of like a higher end corporate type reel to me. Uh, I would say at probably the level you're looking to get clients and people to hire you at, they kind of know you can shoot an interview. So I would just chunk yeah. them all into one section and quickly edit through those rather than having them dispersed throughout the uh, real. And then, um, otherwise I think it shows that you do a lot of variety kind of corporate -y stuff. I'm not sure if I would align this with like a commercial reel per se, cause it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of like lighting and control going on. Uh, and then there's just a couple of shots where it looks like the highlights were just blowing out on us. And I might try to either regrade those. Um, I think it was about a third of the way in or, uh, wait, find a wait, different wait. shot. Yeah. Like that stuff there, that sky there. Uh, which, sorry, which which sky are we talking? Uh, I'm keep going, around. gentlemen walking towards camera, where it's like a this? large that. So, only so thing I'll I would say, Nick, is this is a very famous uh, rapper. It's not Trippy Red. Who is it, David? You can unmute if you want, brother. Uh, ski mask. Ski mask. Yeah, ski mask. So to me, this actually, I was like, I would even move this up, but I'm with you. Maybe, maybe if there's a way to pull the highlights down. But David, 14 seconds in, it's like. I would get rid of these interviews or put them later on in like an interview section and like 
start with this, hey, Nick, and then maybe show this shot second here. And yeah, then, I mean, if it's celebrity, uh, definitely. Yeah, he's celebrity. Yeah, I would bump that up to the front because the general perception of the industry is you don't get time with celebrities. So if you do get good looking shots with celebrity, they know that it's like, oh, you had like negative time to get that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no. I remember when I when I had to shoot uh, Aesop Ferg, I had like f- four minutes with him max. So th- it's great, David. It also speaks to the 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 fact that you're working at, with a high level celebrity. But I I would say to Nick's point, like cool little opening shot, and then Nick, you know, agree with me. I would think, or I'm sorry, don't agree or disagree with me. I think this is an actually beautiful shot. It's your best lighting. You know, you could even pull these highlights down here. David, just a little bit, uh, or just pull them up on a waveform, but they're looking, feel like there's a little more information there. Um, it's always like, like showing your client that you have control even when you don't, you know? And then if you want, I like, I like that you matched motion, people walking towards camera, you know, and then ski mask here walks forward. And then my kind of idea would be like, now that you have them in the interview, then ram off a couple of quick interview shots. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Just like so- from there. Just because, like, it, it is kind of assumed at the docu corporate level. Like, no one's going to message you and be like, do you know how to shoot an interview? It's kind of like, it's assumed they know how to do this. And I would just, like, have it in your reel to reaffirm them of being like, yes, I'm competent of quickly setting up an interview that looks good and uh, and that, like, yeah. you can count on me. The point is, like, B-roll is, is a great way to start because, like Nick's saying, like, the... the um, the interview footage is kind of a given. I, and in honesty, too, Dave, I would get rid of this shot. Like, there's so much clipping, and it's front lit. It's just, it's not, it, out of some of the stronger work you have in your reel, it may not be the strongest. And, and Nick, what would you say about this content here? I guess one of these shots isn't bad. It shows, like, you can work at a big, like, staging. But I almost yeah. would get rid of this, too, here, Nick. Uh, this sorry, seems Dave. more, like, broadcasty. To yeah. me, like, I, it's probably assumed when people are holding the broadcast microphones that you didn't like that. Like, that's really more of, like, capturing, and it's not like you had control over that situation. So, like, stuff like this. So, let's pause on that shot for a sec, Mark. Which one? So, the previous two shots, I actually think are your strongest lighting shots. Let me In terms of, like, uh, the woman in kind of the living room. Those are the yeah. ones that seem more like you had control and like this stuff this shot this here looks great. really good like yeah. i would move that up in your reel because this is like very pristine looking interview and then the shot after is kind of like okay they probably had one soft box some soft source and they can make like good interior kitchen footage with and like, yeah i'll get rid of this light. one yeah get, get rid of this shot it's just like clipping she feels a bit sourcey uh this to nick's point I agree. This is actually a really difficult shot. Middle of the day sun, like, and she looks really soft lit and the background's well exposed. It, it is a strong shot. But this, again, the one rule to think, your worst shot becomes your best shot in your reel. As in, if you're putting a, a, a shot that you're like, mm, I'm not sure if I love this, then it brings your entire reel down to that level. Because it's, it, it, remember your reel, you're only showing your best. This is a first date you're not telling them about all your past weird, uh, <laughs> you know, story. You're, you're showing your, you're putting your best foot forward uh, because you're, you're wanting to get hired. So if you show this, again, it's just telling the client, like, I might end up doing this for you. And so I think you have some really strong stuff, Dave, but this shot here perhaps isn't the strongest. A- any questions on that, Dave? Well, is, is, that, is that helpful? Is there any other questions you have for, for reorganizing this? Uh, no, that's super helpful. I... I uh, make a reel every year, so uh, it's, it's really nice just to be able to see the the progress from year to year. Um, sure. But I I like the idea of the um, celebrity up front, and then using that interview to set up the rest and just putting it into a chunk. Mm-hmm. David, again, did you send us a reel uh, like a year ago? Uh, I yeah, I think so. Dude, I remember that reel. You're you've taken a huge leap forward, like huge. Like this is this is night and day from that reel. If I if I remember correctly, my my, my memory might, but I feel like, yeah, man, just seeing your progress, like 
I cannot wait to see your 2024 Rio. Like this is, this is, this is great stuff, man. Cool. And Thank you. I appreciate it. Last thing I'll note on this one, really good camera movement. So I don't know if yes. you were up in the gimbal and stuff, but uh, at, at no point was I like, Oh, the camera movement's taking me out of this. So really smooth shots. Yeah. Like I would feel confident saying that you can run around the whole day and get very, very usable and pristine motion footage. Thanks. Yeah. That, that was a fun one in the Bahamas. Good on you. Good on you. Real, real great, David. Even when I was making the reel, I knew I had too many interview examples spread throughout the whole thing. So I liked the idea of starting with a celebrity, go into the really polished examples, and then the rest is basically variations of B-roll. So cool tool from AOD. I love what they're doing, but let's get into the raffle. So on my last video, I said, a very simple contest, where do you want me to hold my next filmmaker meetup? I've done it seven times in Orlando. I did it in Atlanta and I just had a successful event in Dallas. So I know I can take this thing anywhere. It doesn't even have to be limited to the US, but that was the whole contest. Tell me where I should hold it and then follow me on Instagram and YouTube. So I had 150 people comment from every corner of the world, some really, really cool places I would not mind having an adventure to. Um, we're putting the URL into pickawinner.co. I've never done this before, so this should be really fun. I don't know if there's gonna be a, a spinny wheel or not, but someone's gonna get their new AOD course. Let's go. Anything goes, include replies. No, do not include rep replies because I replied to all of them. So let's see here. And yep, anything goes, continue. Please wait while we load the comments. Pick a winner, 134 comments. Brandon Lucane, missed you in New York City, would be dope to have one for the NYC area. So um, Brandon, you won the course. Uh, I'll be contacting you, making sure that you subscribed on YouTube and followed on Instagram. But this is just one of the cool things that I'm trying to do with this community. You know, I do a lot of DP work, but I'm expanding this social media side and seeing where it goes. I never thought I'd be an event promoter or an affiliate guy, but it's leading to some cool opportunities and I'm meeting a lot of new people. So I'm um, just going to keep the ball rolling and see where it goes.